Welcome to Theme Hearts and Attractions. Today I'm at Legoland to ride Viking River Splash. Now it was announced lately that these rapids will be closing on the 25th of this month permanently. I'm here today to get on these rapids one last time. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I was here later to film a vlog thinking that these rapids wouldn't be open today. I come here, all of it was drained as usual, sometimes it is early in the morning. Um, but I was told by a couple of the members of the staff that it won't be open today and I thought I was going to miss out today and I didn't know whether I was going to get here again before obviously it was closed. So I filmed a vlog earlier which I'm going to put in a few clips in at the end of this vlog. But yeah, it looks like I'm going to get on this. So why has Legoland decided to close Viking River Rapids and what could potentially take its place in the future? Now it could be that Legoland just wants to get rid of this because it's not up to the standards anymore of some of the other rides in the park. But having said that, it could be also due to high operating costs and safety, or if they just want to put a new land in, they need to make way for this to put a brand new land in with maybe one or two different rides. They could put in a theme, new themed area here with a brand new coaster. I would like to see a launch coaster come here personally. Can you imagine a launch coaster being launched all around this area? Obviously it goes all the way back behind that building around there. There's quite a lot of space around there. And yeah, a family launch coaster in this setting with these views just over there, in my opinion, would go down well for the park. Everyone loves a launch coaster, well most people do. And I think this is the perfect area for that. They didn't want to put a launch coaster, I think an indoor dark ride, maybe space themed coaster. Would look great here. The queues are building up behind me, so I'm going to get on there and I'll talk to you off ride afterwards. Really nice weather here at Legoland today and yeah it's a perfect day to get on these rapids especially when it's the last day soon. Can't wait to get on this. Just have my ride on Viking River Splash now what did I think of it? Yeah I just got on there there's no water effects unfortunately and also there's quite a lot of bashing around on there as well but what it does make is a massive space up there it goes all the way around there and I can't wait to see what comes in the future maybe a launch place there. Could you imagine it launching all the way around there? Yeah really would be great around there. I'm going to put in the footage that I took early. Obviously, I didn't know whether the ride was going to be open or not. Well, the rapids anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to put a few of those clips in now, and you can see what I was going to say. Most of it's the same, but I'm going to put it in anyway. Welcome to Theme Parks and Attractions. Today, I'm at Legoland Windsor. Because it's been announced that Viking River Splash is closing permanently at the park. Now, the rapids are supposed to be open until 25th of September. Unfortunately, the rapids are completely drained, as I'll show you now. You got the audio pumping out round here, all the boats sitting inside the turntable and there's no activity unfortunately. A lot of this is dry so it looks like it's been sitting for a long time. Whether that's a few days I'm not too sure, there's a little bit of water down there but the rest of it is dry. Now going forward in future, what's going to be coming to this site? What could potentially replace the rapids? I'm here to give you a little bit of an in-depth discussion about that. So join me in this vlog, I'm going to show you the rapids at various angles as well, just before all of this area gets demolished. Now one thing you do get from this area as well, just outside the entrance, just over here, you've got free sunscreen that's really good on hot days like this. So yeah, I think I'll have some of this now before getting into the vlog for you. Straight into the vlog we go, yeah, I'm going to walk around here and show you what the station used to look like. Well, what it will used to look like anyway, but yeah, it's not open at the moment. 
Now in the queue line of River Splash, you've got this nice little photo booth where you can get your nice photos and memories. That's if the place ever opens again. We'll have to see. Also in the queue line, you've got these little windows where you can look out, watching people have a great time. And you've got the Lego theme in just down there. Give you a little bit of a zoom in. Yeah, that looks really nice still. Yeah, this whole area, as you can see, it needed a bit of a paint up. Obviously, it's not going to get that now due to this decision from the park. But yeah, there's still little bits of theming in here. It hasn't all gone, but there was a lot more back in the day. Yeah, it seems very strange being in here with no one around, just me. Now, before you ask in the comment section, I got permission from member of staff to be in here, but obviously I'm not allowed to enter the ride because it's closed. Moving further down the queue line then, and you've got him just down there. Nice little piece of Lego theme in there. He looks really good still. He looks, uh, he doesn't look like he's been there a long time. He looks quite nice. And yeah, it stretches all the way back down there. As you can see, this is a massive piece of land for Legoland. So what could they potentially put here? Everyone knows that this site could potentially be home to a new coaster coming in the future. But a coaster is not the only option. You could put lots of things here with the land available. Obviously, it's on the top of a hill. So yeah, it's limited to what you could actually put here, but there's a lot of space. Yeah, I'm not going to go down there for obvious reasons, but I thought I'd just show you in the station before all of this goes and to document it. Now, personally, I'd love to see a family launch coaster come to this site. Can you imagine up here and it just launches you around that hill and around? It would really fit well for this park. In the last five years or so, various pieces of theming and water effects have been turned off from Viking River Rapids. And unfortunately, the rapids hasn't been the same ever since. But it was still a fun rapids to go on. And lots of people liked it at Legoland Windsor. Now, by this rapids, you've got the train bringing, bringing guests to the park and bringing them out again. So, yeah, this, is, this area is quite a beehive of activity at the start of the day. Now, when you're in the queue line for Viking River Splash, you've got various bits of theming over here. You've got the audio pumping out, as I said. And yeah, the queue line looks great. I like all of the wood round here. And yeah, they've done a great job here. Well, they did in the past before the ride shut. Now on the exit to the River Rapids ride, you've got one of these drives, which is three pounds. It's card only in here though. Three pound card only. Now if you have a look into the distance, I'm going to give you a bit of a zoom in, you can see other little bits of theming for the rapids. Just in the distance, you've got some barrels down there, you've got some other Lego models. And yeah, this is the best shot I can possibly get you at this particular angle for that. Yeah, you've got the train transporting people just here. And look, it's really close to the rapids just down here. So yeah, this area is still going to be quite busy, but unfortunately, this rapids won't be here for much longer. I've just spotted there's a couple of staff members in there. I'm not too sure what they're doing, whether they're going to try and get this ride open anytime soon or not. But yeah, they're in there, so that's a positive sign, but you never know really. Now after all of that, I was just told by a member of staff that the Rapids might be opening up later on after all. So hopefully it'll be open. Yeah, I was getting mixed messages from other staff members saying that this ride wouldn't be open today. And of course I filmed this vlog just in case because obviously I'm not going to get back before the actual rapids closes again. So I thought I'd do you a little tour just in case. But yeah, if I can get on that later, that'd be great. And I'm going to put that footage in later in the video. Now, I just filmed a vlog for you that you don't know about and I spent the last hour filming it. I didn't think this rapids was going to be open today, but if I put this footage in, then it's going to be open. And I thought I'd better film something just in case I don't get any footage for later. Obviously, if this footage is in, then obviously I've had a great ride on there. But I'm going to put a few snippets of that in at the end of the vlog to see what I actually filmed for you, just in case it wasn't opening today. It's the end of the day at Legoland Windsor. I had a great day here today. I've got lots of classics such as Flight of the Skyline, the Dragon, the list goes on. But obviously I didn't come down here to vlog that lot. Now, there's always some people that's not happy when a ride is removed at the park. Now, when it comes to memories on certain rides, other people might not have the memories that other people do have on certain rides. When it comes to Vikings Rapids, it doesn't really create many memories for me or it didn't really create any in the past for me either. Windsor Castle just in existence just over there. But any ride removal is always going to upset certain people more than others as I just said. 
in my opinion it's a good decision by the park there's lots you can put in there you can put a new land in there you can put a new coaster so there's lots of possibilities what's your thoughts on the permanent closure of the rapids this is a really nice touch from Legoland Windsor. You've got all of the dates and everything that's opened with all of the years and a little bit of information on it. And just down here, 2007, Vikings River Splash. Yeah, I really like that from Legoland. Drop me a comment in the comment section what you would like to see replace the rapids. As always, theme parks and attractions, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. Drop me a comment as well, and I'll see you in the next theme parks and attractions video. Opening soon at Legoland, you got Adventure Golf. Works progressing really well. Can't wait to check it out in future.